Hey Libra, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. We're getting your love messages out there today in celebration of the romantic holiday of Valentine's Day. These messages do not have to be romantic, however. The intention I'm putting forth is that they're just authentic because all of you guys are in different scenarios. It doesn't have to be romantic. There's more kinds of love. All right, so these are general messages. If this resonates, hit the like button, say hi, subscribe, whatever feels right to you. But as long as you're collaborating with the energy, you're claiming the reading that way. And it helps the, the channel quite a bit. It helps this message get out to other Libras because you're doing them a solid with the algorithm there. But more importantly, you're collaborating with the energy in your own way. Love messages for Libras, love messages for Libras. We've got two out. We've got the King of Pentacles. This could be an earth sign, but they could also be your energy as well. Let me describe the energy so that you can tell what it is. Virgo just got this, by the way. I don't know, Libras, if you guys are dealing with a Virgo, but like literally they got side by side. So this is a practical person. This is somebody who's not always in their feels. Um, they're really good with money usually. They like, they feel more comfortable on the plane of money, but they also need to be valued. So their job, their work, it's really important to them. They're very good at it. And um, so this could be you occupying that place of the King of Pentacles, or it could be somebody else that it's talking about. And it came out with this really beautiful card. This is a resurrection card. This is judgment, and it's not a subtle energy. Something is being resurrected. Now, this could be a love with another individual. This could be a, a, um, a sense of new life, new, like invigorating. These are... You know, it's depicted this picture of these people climbing out of like, like not even climbing. It's they're like standing in their graves and they're looking up at the heavens. And so it's like the heavens hearing this call. It's, there's something that's um, graceful about it. It's like the picture of grace and resurrection. And anyway, very deep. Love messages for Libras. Love messages for Libras. Count on a Pisces to go deep with you, right? Um, okay, so I think at one point you... There, let me let me just get some more information before I start yapping. Okay, we've got the Empress card. We've got the Knight of Swords in reverse. All right, it's it's almost like the the space between the lines is just as important as what's written there. That metaphor or that I, an analogy um, is applicable here because what was not said is so important. <laughs> this is sticking to my fingers. Ah. So this is about big picture. This is about life, like lifelong abundance, happiness, joy, but it has something to do with your stability as well. So some of you guys, it's like what you did not say, or what you did not do within a marriage um, or kind of um, a family context is actually bringing you now abundance. It's bringing you, it's, it's, it's like you did not say the things that might have been on your mind that you might have felt um, an impulse to say and to be right, you know, but instead you were the bigger person and all of a sudden whew, there is this possibility. There is this whole other possibility and it's around abundance and it's around something long term and beautiful and possibly even with family and possibly with money too. Okay, so what's this abundant card? We've got the queen. So somebody was, I think, being the queen of, of cups, but in reverse. So somebody was being um, a little maybe oversensitive, over emotional or whatever it is. But now all that's getting righted. All that's getting righted. And I think, well, well that's flew out. Yep. I think because you thought, because you went to a meditative place, this is like Zen energy. We went into like Zen ninja mode. And this is messages that were not said. This is sometimes travel as well. But I think it's so clear. You know, and it comes back to what we're doing this for. Like what this is, is a love reading, right? This is a way you show your love whether it's with somebody who is a member of your family or it's somebody, a, a romantic love that we're talking about for you, Libra. It's all different. But you show your love by 
kind of mitigating a situation, migrating an entire energy into a place of abundance and beauty and joy by what you don't choose to say or do. Like it's, it's not a do, it's a, it's a say, it's a verbal communication thing. Um, and that takes immense wisdom. You've got all of this possibility now, all this beautiful abundance with, I mean, like this is my favorite card of the deck. You've got the abundant energy of the Empress and we've got the 10 of Pentacles at your beck and call. This is long-term, it looks really beautiful. I feel like one last card for our leaders. I feel like this is the, like you steer a ship it's like steering the Titanic past the iceberg. You know, it's like, this is a big energy. You do this. And it's a gesture of love. You've got the two of pentacles. Because in the moment, you might be like, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't really feel like doing this. But you know what? You do. Because at the, at the time, you know that the bigger picture is that you have love there and reciprocity. The bigger picture is that there's a reason we have the two of cut or the two of cups here is the flame twin flame card the soulmate card so what it's upside down for a little while things are being rebalanced with the two of pentacles and you of course you know you rule over justice you rule over those scales and in that moment you're like i don't know i could go this way and just say what's on my mind but you don't you're really mature and you're doing right by you. And that's self-love as well. So take good care of yourselves. Tune in, hit the bell if you don't want to miss a reading. I've got the March readings coming just around the corner. And um, we'll see you soon.